Universe Death Tournament Rules Explained. There have been a lot of confusion in the community over the rules of the Universe Death Tournament. Some people think God can't forbid it. That was never stated anywhere. Now, it, I also don't think it would be forbidden because that would be a bad storytelling. You introduce the new forms to the character and you don't use it. Now, some people do, would would say can Goku turn off God Key? Well, yes, he can. Because during the resurrection of F Mark, Krillin, when Goku and Vegeta arrived, said he could sense Goku Key, but then it was later pointed out that he could no longer sense it, meaning Goku had started to new God Key, so it's unsensible by people that don't have it. But with how much build up God Key has had and how much work has been put into it, I just don't see why Toriyama would just take it away. It wouldn't make any sense. Why? You put so much into make, expanding the lore of God Key, Goku Majita's training, then not having to use it would be bad writing. And I, even for Toriyama, that would be a new low. I don't see him doing that. I wanted to put that out there, but really what I want to talk about is this, is how the tournament works. Now, if you watched the original Dragon Ball, Dub or sub. I would say go watch it in Japanese, but you even if you watch it in English, good for you. If you haven't, go watch Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is amazing. And when I say Dragon Ball, I mean the original first season. Now, I'll quickly talk about the fact that it's a better story, better structured. I, I like Z way more, but I won't deny Dragon Ball is betterly written. That's a fact. I mean, it's a better story. It critically is better. But, yeah, now that I've done that, I, we're talking about the style of the tournament. Now, originally people believed it would be a Tenkaichi Budokai style tournament. That's incorrect. And it's actually an Uranai Baba style tournament. And you don't know who Uranai Baba is. Uranai Baba is Fortune Teller Baba. And the Tenkaichi Budokai is the World Martial Arts Tournament. Just fun fact. But, so most believe it was going to be a Tenkaichi Budokai style. This was later proven to be false because in the Tenkaichi Budokai, it's an elimination style of fighting. It's you decide who fights who, like, it's like you draw from a thing, you draw from a thing, and it's like Goku versus Vegeta, uh, Gohan versus Boba this, Persian versus Videl versus Boba this, Goten versus Trunk. You remember that? That is a Tenkaichi Budokai style. The style this tournament is using is the one Uranai Baba used back in Dragon Ball, which is you pick a, a starting fighter, you pick an order for your fighters, then one fighter gets in the ring from each team, and those, and they fight, and then the winner of that fight moves on to fight the next guy, and then, but, and then whoever wins that fight will go on to fight the other guy, and if you lose, you have somebody come in to replace you. This is how the, the tournament is working now. Goku lost against Frost, so now, and Goku had fought two people, but now, Frost will continue fighting, and Piccolo will intervene in the fight, and fight Frost. I just wanted to explain this, because some people don't seem to understand how the tournament works. Now, also, it, people that seem to think we've, give, we've been given clear rules in the tournament, we haven't. Like, there is speculation that a fusion may be against the rules of the tournament. Now, but 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 the Potaru Potara, I mean, and Metamori fusion techniques are most likely forbidden. But due to that, the the style of the tournament being an Uranai Baba style, it could happen. Now I really am going to clear this up. But one last thing I like to point out is because really, if you were to fuse two two people together and put them on the same team, like Goku and Vegeta, you put Potara fusion. The two together and make Vegito, and they could have the Namekian Dragon Balls unfuse them, or the Earth Dragon Balls. Well, actually, no, because timeline wise, yeah, they have to wait a year, but whatever. But the point is that Goku and Vegeta could use that, and then the thing would be is they would still be allowed in because both people that fused would still be mem participants of the tournament. However, it would knock Team Universe 7 down to members. Because they would lose Goku and Vegeta and they would just have Vegito. While Vegito would be incredibly powerful, if Vegito does lose, then it's literally just Monaka and Piccolo. 
and possibly only Monaka, because, you know, well, Tekla could lose too. So, it's a situation that I don't think they would want to do it, but logically, if, t if both participants choose, they could do it, because as long as they can keep on fighting, it should be fine, right? But, besides for that, so, so it, I'm going to make this quite clear that if somebody said something is against the rules, don't believe them right off the bat. Go do your own research. Ask me. You can ask me on Twitter. You can ask me on Twitter in the comments. I'll answer your question. Ask anybody. Yeah. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I upload a Dragon Ball video every single Wednesday around 7.45. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And by the way, I just wanted to say, uh, remember to follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I don't have, I want to get to uh, 100 followers on Twitter, so follow me on that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a great day.